Jumps past Kobe in the all-time scoring list, but what will it take to get to Kareem? Tiger chasing 83 and Tory Climbing the leaderboard on moving day. Will he need on Sunday to break a tie with Sam Snead for the most wins ever? Plus, the Joker chasing Federer and Nadal at the Aussie Open, while Coco aimed for a Grand Slam first. I would have been just as happy if it had happened four or five games ago. I'm happy just to be in a, any conversation with Kobe being Bryant. You know what, LeBron? Same. I agree. Uh, just like that sports center's on the air, that Zoom and Mahinty, I'm Mike Leeds. All those stories ahead, plus some fantastic finishes on the college hardwood, but we do start with LeBron's leap over another all-time great. Kobe Bean. Michael, he had always insisted he wasn't a scorer, LeBron did, but instead a playmaker. The evidence seems to suggest LeBron is a scorer, yes, and no this doubt. is why. The NBA's all-time scoring leaders, I know he's inextricably linked with Michael Jordan, who's actually fifth on that list, but Kareem the mailman and Kobe and chasing the Mamba on Saturday. So many parallels here that he could do it in the Lakers uniform, that he could do it in Philly, which I think Kobe, along with Italy, considers his home. There is LeBron paying homage to the Mamba with a message on his sneakers. Needs 17 to pass after a free throw, so 18 entering the night. Back the other way. 15 will keep the counter rolling. 14 because he completed the three-point play. And then LeBron, just a little bit too much muscle. Excellent road team the Lakers have been this year against the Sixers, who are a fantastic home team. You see the counters, and a dozen, and LeBron to the rack. 17 years in the league, just turning on the acceleration, blown by guys that are 21 and 22 years old. Maybe the most impressive part of his career. Right? Yes. Incredible. So he had 14 at the half, needed four to pass Kobe in the third quarter. We're creeping a little bit closer. AD to LeBron. We'll probably see that a few more thousand times over the next few years. And then, there it is, to pass Kobe Bean Bryant. Kobe would then tweet out, continuing to move the game forward at King James. And what's interesting is, take a look at the number, much respect my brother, hashtag 33644, Brian at 33643. So it's official. By the way, this is an important game for the Sixers. They're playing without Joel Embiid for the ninth straight game. He did practice Friday, I saw him, but could be back next week. I think the Bucks are running away with this thing in the East anyway. Ben Simmons did all he could with the absence of Embiid. This was all Sixers all night long. You know, the type of competitor LeBron is, I'm sure he would like to get this milestone and a win. It seemed pretty obvious if you were watching Saturday Night Prime Time that it probably was not going to happen. Simmons was absolutely terrific. Fourth quarter, LeBron is adding a little artistry. Wow. There is something. Thinking about all the purple and gold with Kobe, and I don't think he'll ever be seen as the same obvious type of Laker, but to do it in the Laker uniform is something. And then, how about one more? Caruso, back to the king. Whew. What a great time to mention Caruso's been kind of a breakout player. But he got that up to LeBron. Lakers bench. I don't watch out for them, that's for sure. Brett Brown kind of knows that, all right, this is getting a little bit closer than we thought. We were up 18 earlier, now it's a seven-point game. I'm still getting used to Al Horford in a Sixers uniform. <laughs> After all those years, the Hawks and the Celtics and then Simmons. Yeah, you don't have Embiid. You're going to need this guy just a little bit more. 28, 10, and 8. Mike, that's after having less than a week ago, a 30-point triple-double. Tobias Harris got it. Sixers roll, 108-91. The big story, though, of course, him, the king after the game, on his relationship with Kobe. It's cool to know that you have the support of one of the all-time greats that ever played this game and uh, someone that you admired um, to be like on the floor. Um, and, and do the things, win championships, be young, and and, and, um, and be remembered. You know, and you don't have that much time to play this game. And, you know, if you're able to uh, be remembered, um, you know, for the, the great things that you did, the positive things that you did, you know, making people feel, you know, great about what you did, um, that's a pretty cool thing. So uh, I rolled on my shoes tonight. I think I put, uh, I think I put Mamba uh, for life. 824 uh, KB because uh, it's really it's really that it's really that mutual. Now I'm here in the Lakers uniform in Philadelphia, where he's from, where I one of the first first time I ever met him gave me his shoes. He won All Star Week. It's just it's surreal. It doesn't make no sense, but the the universe uh, just puts things in in your life and, and and when you I guess when you live in the right way or you just 
given everything to whatever you're doing, um, things happen organically and it's not supposed to make sense, but it just happens. And sorry. And uh, I'm happy just to be in a, any conversation with Kobe Bean Bryant, one of the all time greatest basketball players to ever play, one of the all time greatest Lakers. The man got two jerseys hanging up in Staples Center. It's just, it's just crazy. Mike, you talked for